Hello, I'm back again with another episode. We're on episode 52 of the series now. I can't believe we've done 52 episodes of this particular save, but we'll hit that here we are. Um, we left us off last. We didn't start the episode well, um, but by the end of it, we were uh, hitting form nicely, and we're now third in the league through to the next round of the French Cup. We've managed to rake in a bit of money in the January window already, selling Bobby Abdu um, for 12 million. So good luck to him in his career. Um, but I'll be back in a sec with the first game of the episode. Right, so here we are. First game of the season. Um, we did sell Diaz and he went to Le Grandes, or whatever they're called, for 3.6 million uh, in Spain. So good luck to him. Um, actually, let's have a look. Let's see how... Let's have a look at the transfer. Uh, transfer history. That's 23 million now we've made this season, which is a record. Uh, where is it? Wait. Le, Le Ganes. Le Ganes? Le Ganes. Yeah, Le Ganes. So he has potential value of 6.2 million. Um, we do have a clause in place. So. There he is. So twenty percent profit. So if he if he sells for six million, we get twenty percent of the difference between the six and the three. So you're looking at that. I can't remember obviously the maths, but maybe another extra million or something. It's not too bad. Right, here we are. Vaz is up front for some reason. Um, I trust the assistant manager. We've got Zerbo in midfield with Mooglin, Mooglin, sorry. Uh, LeBrun's took over from Diagne as centre back. Hopefully him and Paisley for now can form a decent defensive partnership. Oh, the orange ball's here again. I really enjoyed watching that orange ball in the last episode. Now I get to see it again. I wish every game was a miserable game like this so I can see that lovely orange ball. Right, Bastion. Oh, that would have been a good start to the match. Got a corner there, Angeli. See what he can do, the magician. Oh, nearly. Right, Nice on the break. No, managed to defend that well. Good clearance. Right, they've got a corner. Nothing happens from it though. Overall, we've been the better team. Three shots, three on target. Four shots, four on target now. We just need to be better at finishing, I think. We are probably scoring in a minute, I reckon. Might have been a better situation if we had that um, Kofi up front instead of Vaz, but like I said, I trust the assistant manager. I think that was out of the box, slightly out of the box, but we could be wrong. They've got Dembele at bloody Nice. Yeah, no penalty, it's all right. Right, free kick to Nice. Goes nowhere. Headed and um, saved by the goalie. I want to see how the hell Dembele ended up at Nice. Right, let's have a look. Is that the Dembele that I'm thinking of though? Yeah, it is. But he's 32, so it's probably what it is. He got yeah, he went he went to PSG obviously in real life. Did alright, I suppose. Started to do not very well. Then got sold to Nice. Done alright there so far, 32 years old, fair play to him. Good sign for Nice. Right. I feel like I need to demand a bit more. They, they started the game well, but we've kind of let Nice get into the game, and I don't want that. We need to get back into it and get back in control. Zerbo, Bastian to Didot. 1 2. Angeli with beautiful pass to Didot. Beautiful finish. <sighs> okay, see what VR said. Goal award it get in good goal as well. Yeah, Vaz not playing well. I think I might look to get rid of Vaz. I know I said this last season and then he ended up doing well and that's why I kept him, but I just don't think he's good enough. Yeah, he needs to go. Two and a half stars. He's not gonna He's not gonna achieve anything. There we go. 
Let's see what we get for him. Mostly loans by the looks of it from the hiring and inter intermediary. Sorry for all the swallowing noises if you can hear that. I think I'm coming down with something. I apologise in advance. Oh no. Those bit of techers there. Luckily doesn't lead to a goal. Uh, right, Vaz, you can come off and we'll put on Nwemba. Angeli is knackered, so we're taking him off now. Uh, who else do we take off? Everybody else is playing now. Mugen's not playing well. Uh, did not need to be prioritised. We'll take you off first. And then we'll take you off. And we'll put Sutter on. Right, I think that's all that subs used up. Yeah. Uh, Kofi is knackered. Can't take him off. Still one nil though, doing nice, doing well. Let's hope that this highlight is the last highlight of the game and we can just get on with it. Valmy, beautiful header by Kofi, wasn't expecting that to lead to a goal but it is. Definitely game over now, 2 nil. Where are we in the lead now? Third, still third, two points behind Lens. I'll happily end the season as third. Right. We're back in the set with the next game against Marseille. Right, we're back. Um, we've got Marseille in the French Cup. Um, I've decided to put my strongest team out there, but I think the assistant manager has, has actually rotated a little bit anyway. Um, I just did this and then did that. So, yeah. So, we've got Kofi up front. Did it on the left, even though he's not 100% fit. I was Pinto or Popal, but I feel like we should be able to beat Marseille. But we'll see. We haven't got many on the subs bench though, which concerns me. Might have to bring in all the reserves and youth players in. But we'll see after this game. Got to concentrate on the task in hand. Hopefully we can beat Marseille and get through to the next round of the Coupe de France. It would be nice to get to a Coupe de France final. Give us a chance to win, hopefully, the French Cup for the first time. I think the furthest we've got to was the semi-final, but I could be completely wrong on that one. Good defending there. That was an easy goal for him. 1 0 to Marseille. I'm only going to make subs if I really have to because I haven't got many on the bench, so my options are not very good. So we've just got to hope the players that we've got on the pitch are good enough to get the job done. Uh, Pinto will probably not end up playing most of the game as it is. Yeah, they're destroying us. They've got bloody Harvey Elliott. They've got Shavalabed, Sh 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 whatever his name is. 14 minutes gone and we're already losing 2-0, which is not good. I don't think we're going to get through to the next round of the French Cup at the moment. And uh, as I said, Pinto already knackered. He's going to have to come off. We haven't got any players that can play there, so we're just going to have to put him in there. Oh, actually, I know what we can do. There we go. Zabo can play as right back, so we've managed to do that. Right, let's try firing up players, see if that'll do anything. Not going well at half time. Let's see if the second half can bring us back into the game. We get a goal, we've got a chance. But we've had no shots. 
for uh, the whole of the second half so far. Hopefully that'll change with this highlight. Bastian, Sutter, moving straight into the goalkeeper's hands. This Marseille team is pretty good by the looks of it. Harvey Elliott. Who else they got? Let's have a look. Bowie. Yeah, Harvey Elliott's too good for this French league. And they got Duran as well. Villa player. Right. Um, Balmy needs to come on. Put on you. Oh, oh okay. Right, now can I take off the player I want to take off? Right, that's all the subs now. Nothing really we can do. Just got to hope for the best. Goal kick to Marseille. Good uh, defensive player there by Bastian to block the pass. Lebrun gives it to Zerbo. Oh, look at this beautiful passing. Oh, Kofi a bit greedy there. He should have took his time. Still 2 0, but we're doing a little bit better since the subs come on. See what we can do in the last few minutes of the game. Can we get back in the game at all? We get a goal here now. It's all to play for as far as I'm concerned. We only need a few seconds to score. Oh, look at that. Get in. Ah, oh, disallowed because there's no VAR in the French Cup. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Right, yeah, that's it then. That's it. But um, we did better in the second half. We played better. But yeah, over overall, Marseille a much better team than us. Uh, it was very arrogant of me to think we could beat him. Angeli's out for three weeks. Great. Right, Mar Monaco coming up next in a sec. I'll be back in a second. Hello, I'm back. Uh, if you can hear that noise in the background, it is absolutely... It just started hammering it down the brain. So if you can hear that noise, I apologise. Um, but yeah, let's crack on with the next game. Um... By the way, Vaz wasn't getting any offers, so I released him on a free transfer. He has gone on to sign for... Uh, there we go. He's gone to Chambly. And if you look at it on here, I mean, he has got a potential value of 1.7 million, but like literally the scout said only sign him as a last resort. So, yeah, November needs to probably go as well, actually, to be honest, because I don't think he's good enough. So, let's... Yeah, November, November. At 24 years old, I just don't think he's good enough. So we'll, we'll see if we can get any offers of him. If not, I'll probably release him as well. Because we're doing all right financially. We've got 10 million in the bank from the Abdu sale. Um, we've got a ridiculous, look at that way to put it, like literally. Because every time I sold the player, I've just put it, every time I've got money, I've just chucked it into the wage budget. If I did that, we'd get like 25 million to spend. But yeah, 627,000 wage budget. Um, and we're only spending 164. Uh, transfer budget is 8.7 8, 8. million. Projection's not looking good. I Well, it's all okay. Um, but it will get better, I think, over time. Hopefully, if we get into Europe, that will help. But we might have to make some more sales along the way. So anyway, let's crack on. Um, Lumber's playing on the left wing today. And then I think that's pretty much it, really. Everything else is the same. Kofi up front. November may struggle to... Oh, I forgot to add players to my squad. <sighs> right, anyway. Monaco all over us. They've got a corner. They're probably going to score from this. Oh. Short corner as well. Good shot. Good save, I mean. Go on, Dot. Ah. Right. 
I don't know why it's doing this when I, I, I want it on lead table, yet it keeps going for match stats. Anyway, we are, if Monaco beat us, they leapfrog past us as third. So, big game this one. Biggest game of the, well, I would say not the biggest game of the season, because against PSG was probably our biggest game of the season so far. But when it comes to importance of the season, this is probably one of the biggest games of the season for us. Keep our lead as third in the, keep our chances of being third in the lead, maybe even improve our chances of getting second place. Bastion, good pass, get in, go on Kofi. Boom, 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 get in. Sorry, I thought I'd try something new there. I apologise if that was very cringe. At least I didn't go, you know what I mean? <laughs> so we're now... Oh. Uh, Zarbo will have to go there. Right, so we... Uh, oh, I'll have a look at the lead table one sec. Wait for this to finish first. I did do a recent save with Monaco. Um, I got bored after about two seasons. Which is pretty good for me actually, because I usually get bored after one. I basically try to, I try to basically turn Monaco into the Monaco they used to be, um, and I also looked. I was looking into trying to bring former Monaco players like Jaime Rodriguez, Bernardo Silva. Um, I managed to get Rafael Falcao back. I managed to get somebody else and I can't remember because it was because it was a few weeks ago when I did this save but it was enjoyable for what it for, for the time I, my aim was to try and get Mbappe back but I just couldn't be bothered to stay in the game that long to be able to re-sign him especially when he's at Real Madrid he probably was never going to leave there unless I win like the Champions League two or three seasons in a row oh there's some beautiful passing going on here by Monaco absolutely picking this apart here they deserve a goal. Luckily, they haven't got one yet. Corner to Monica, though. Um, just to let you know, I will be ordering some mystery boxes um, probably in the next couple of days. So, just let me know if there's any mystery shop, mystery, if there's any mystery box companies out there, just let me know in the comment section any that you want me to try. And review for you lot let me know would appreciate it right still one nil off we have not deserved this win to be winning to be honest Monaco have been the better team we're kind of FN at this point but then they then we don't give them a penalty curse of the commentator our game that's a very clear penalty. There's no way VR is going to disallow this one. Yep, there we go. So it's going to be 1-1, one, one, unless a miracle happens here. Popal not very known for his... Uh, yeah, Popal's not very good at saving penalties from what I remember. Yeah, but Wemba definitely needs to go. One one's probably a fair result, but I think Monaco will probably go on and win this game now. They've definitely been the better team. They got a player called Stud. I swear he just said that. I swear his name was Stud then. I'll have a look in a sec. Maybe I'm imagining things. Oh no, Saad. It was Saad. I swear, it, in my head, when I first saw it, I thought it said Stud. I thought they got a player called Stud. Right, something needs to happen here. They're, they're doing some really slick passing here. Look at this beautiful passing. Why can't we play like that? Yeah, we'll be very lucky to get anything out of this game, though. Can't take any more players off as well, which is frustrating. Right, throwing to us, probably the last chance we're going to get in the game. 
So hopefully we'll make it count. Good ball, come on Bastion. Oh. That was it, that was our last proper chance I reckon. Uh, I don't know what I've done here, there we go. Right, corner to us, Muller drives it in, headed out. Guranu, back to Muller. Muller loses the ball. That's the end of the highlight. Uh, yeah, 1 1 is a pretty good result considering. Still third though. Uh, nothing's changed on that one. Uh, we're now four points behind Lenzo, so maybe. Realistically, we're going to be looking at a top four place now. Did dots out for three or four weeks. Which leaves us with bloody Moembra on the left. Yeah, before I forget, I need to... Right. Uh, yeah, right, okay. So, and then we just... And then what? So, there we go. 13 new players. A lot of goalkeepers, but, you know, it is what it is. Right, I'll be back in a sec with the next game. Right, we're back with the next game. Um, I got rid of November in the end. Nobody wanted him, so I released him on a free transfer. Um, so good luck to him in his career. We've got a few debuts in the match today, probably because of lack of options. So we've got debuts to this play here. Victor... Uh, they're lock, but as you can see, he's more than qualified to play. 17 years old, looks an absolute excellent player. I couldn't think of anything else to say. Um, he's got two goals in the reserve so far. He got five in eight appearances last season. So hopefully he'll start. He'll do well. And then we've got this player here called Noel Cardon, who looks like probably our best prospect we've ever had. 13 and a half to 21 million. In fact, you better see if he'll sign a new contract. He will. Uh, luckily, no minimum fee clause. He only wants a two year contract, though, which is not ideal. Can I change that? Let's have a look. No, I can't. Okay, so probably because of his age. But yeah, he looks like a route. He looks like an absolute brilliant player in the making. Fairly professional personality as well, which is good. Let's have a look at the personality of Veloc. Fairly determined. So yeah, so a very different midfield combination here going on. Izanga on the right. Kofi up front. So let's see how we get on. So yeah, so it's nice to see some new blood coming through. Um, Zabo's played quite a few games lately as well. So he'll probably be in the mix. That's the whole point of this save is to basically when players when I feel like players are at their their peak when it comes to resellable value, um, we sell them on. Other than obviously the only two players I don't want to get rid of is Bastian and Kofi. They're the only two players I will flat out refuse pretty much every offer unless it's like a ridiculous offer. Then no, I won't refuse it. But the, I don't want to be actively looking to sell them. Good ball, go on Kofi. Get in. Ah, oh, here we go. Was he offside? No, he wasn't. Get in. 1 0. Right. Lens have got a game ahead of us. Uh, they're only one point ahead of us, but they've got a game in hand, sorry. So, as far as I'm concerned, they've still got a four point lead on us. Ah. That was a blow that we didn't need. VAR to check it though. Hopefully it'll come into our favour. No. Just when I thought we were going to have an easy game here. Troy's look well, they've Actually, Troy's have been the better team so far. They've been all over us. I just hope they haven't got the quality to finish. We've got the ball again. The return of the orange ball. Good header out. Troy still have possession though. Good defensive. Well, I was going to say good defensive play, but maybe not. Oh, that was a great goal. Fair play. 
Right, two one. Not 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 good as far as I'm concerned. We should be beating Troy's, but we're not. We're now down to fourth. Good thing luckily though, we're four five points ahead of fifth place. So gives us a bit of a cushion. Troy's are gonna absolutely destroy us in this game by the looks of it. Good header out. Right, let's get this first half done. Corner to Troy's. Good save. Popo earning his money today. Or was it a save? I think it was just slightly over. Right. Unfortunately, uh, youth prospects didn't have the haven't had the best of starts in this game um, not impressed me we've got this player here Sullivan Torinari put him on Paisley needs to come off uh, actually no we can't take Paisley off we haven't got anybody else to replace him Thierry can come off then Sutter can come off right let's hope that the changes will be a positive ones Good ball, that's a good goal, and it's not going to be disallowed. So that's it. Game over in this match, I think. Uh, we need a bloody miracle now, just to even get a point out of this game. So disappointing. Where are Troy's? Troy's are actually in the playoffs. I thought they were near the relegation zone. So. I hope this isn't the start of a bad run that we go on. We've done so well for the for literally the whole season. It'd be really annoying to to fall down the table right near the end. Right, come on, Paisley. Oh, come on. Oof. Okay. Right, we've got one more sub in us, I think. Put Valmy in there. Yeah, this team has, there has been a bit of a difference with Abdu going, I think, and obviously a few players that were sort of regulars like Vaz and Muemba. It's going to take a few weeks or a few months to get used to these new players. Oh, thank God for that. At least it's only 3 1 now. Right. get a consolation goal before the end of the game probably not we're now neck and neck on points with Marseille oh only two Monica only two points behind us as well so I don't know what I was talking about earlier probably was five points because obviously Monaco probably weren't winning um, did they even play? no they didn't even play right okay that's that then um, so we've got one more game no we haven't that's the end of the episode, I think. Yeah, that's the end of the episode. Or is it? Let's have a look. Have we got enough time for one more? Is it Orcs? Orcs here? No, no, no. My mouse is playing up. Sorry, everybody. Yeah, we'll, we've got enough time for one more game. So we'll play, we'll play Lorient. And then we'll call it a day for this episode. If my mouse would work properly, that would help. Right, I'll be back in a sec with the last game of the episode. Right, so we are last game of the episode. We're playing Lorient at home. I'm hoping we end this episode on a high and we win this game. Oh, we've got some more new debuts. So we've got a player called Cluj. Nicolas Cluj. He is starting. Um... I don't think he's oh he's made one sub appearance for us so far. Uh, Pardon is still in the team on the left. Angeli's back in the team though in the middle. Um, I think that's it really. There's no other debut so yeah. Let's see how we get on. Hopefully with Angeli back we will win. We could do a win and we're now fifth so we definitely need to win. If we win this game though, we should be back up towards third maybe. Uh, 
let's see how it goes. No highlights so far. Bastion. Angeli. Cross to Pinto. Pinto on the right. Passes it inside to Mugen. Mugen gets a tackle, but gives it to Thierry. Thierry across to Bastion. Jerry and Bastion. Yeah. Always depend on Bastion to get us a goal, get us a goal when we need it. One nil. Good, good, good. Right, yeah, back up to third. Two points behind Lens at the moment. Pinto. Oof. In fact, let me click on when this highlight finishes. I will change it from the lead table to the latest score so we can keep an eye on the other games. Oh, we've got a penalty. We've, yeah, it's definitely inside the box. So it's whether it's a penalty or not. Let's see. Yes. Right, Kofi, not got the best records when it comes to penalty taking. Hopefully he'll score this one then. Yes, nicely done. Calmly put in. 17th goal of the season for him. I reckon he'll get like 25 goals by the end of the season. Right, let's just click on this. Late scores. So Marseille. Um, who else have we got to keep an eye? Is it Marseille, Monaco and Lens? Marseille, Monaco, Lens. Right. So Marseille are drawing. Monaco are losing to PSG. A Lens point. Lens are drawing 3 3. So, oh, 1 1 in the PSG. Monaco game. Angeli with the free kick. Oh, what a free kick. Starting to become a bit of a free kick specialist here, Angeli. 18 years old as well, this bloke. Unbelievable. Yeah, 18 years old. Right, corner to us. Headed out. Oh my god, it's only half time. I can I thought it was the end of the game. I thought it was 90 minutes. Bloody hell. Right, so PSG is still drawing Monaco. Lens are still drawing in their game. Marseille is drawing in their game. Apparently, the assistant manager thinks we shouldn't make a substitution. Ah, oh, Bastion, that's a shame. And Angeli, neither can stay in the game, unfortunately. Patricio passes it back to Dan Paisley. Hold on. Veloc. Nice um, play by them two. Thierry with the free kick. Oh, he scored another free kick this time by Thierry. Absolutely smashing in the free kick. Is Thierry a free kick specialist? Uh, free kick 10. Finishing four, long shots, it's ten. So, not exactly known for it, not exactly, if you look at it, not really known for free kick taking. Um, ten for Angeli, free kick taking, long shots, eleven. Uh, finishing nine. So, not exactly stats wise meant to be a free kick specialist, but it doesn't matter. Still draws in the other games. 10 minutes to go. I think PSG just scored in the corner of my eye. I think I just saw it. Yeah, 2-1. Two, 2-1 one. Two, one to PSG. So that helps us. I think. Right, let's have a look. Yep, so we're third. Two points behind Lens now. That's good. How many points? 13 points behind PSG, but I was under no illusion in this episode that we were going to get the title. Uh, let's just quickly go through these. Right, let's have a look where we end up at the end of this episode. So basically where we start the episode, we end it as third. Uh, 21 games played, 12 wins, 4 draws and 5 losses. 
Uh, Kofi is obviously our main man with 17 goals in 21 games so far. Absolutely smashing it. Bastion is the best player overall. Um, it's a good thing he's 28, so a lot of the big clubs probably won't go for him. So I'm hoping he'll stay here for the rest of his career. He, he's been here from the start, like Kofi. Um, been just ever defendable, been brilliant. Right then, on that note, I'm going to call it a day. Thank you as always for watching, and I'll be back next week with some more Socio FM24 adventures. Um, I will have more FM24 content because I've got the retro database Coventry saved. So if you like that type of stuff, that will be on that will be Thursday and Friday, Thursday and Friday this week. So have a look, and then I've got TW9 wrestling simulation stuff coming this week as well and eventually at some point in the next couple of weeks i'll have some mystery football shirt content and probably fake football shirt content but we'll see so anyway not note i'm off i'll speak to you soon all the best bye